podcast number four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, season two, episode four. Season two, episode four. <laughs> 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 Leslie, David, how goes it? Podcast for uh, the BP Hero. Season two. Two, episode four. Not to be confused with the elite, anyways. You kind of like had a. I don't, for some reason, <laughs> I can't make my threes on this side. Like, I have to, like, lock my finger in weird. So I normally, you know what happens? I just go like that. Dude, you see, that's all right. Can't, like, I can't do it. I like, don't know. I can't. I have, does anybody know or have a boxer's knuckle? Like, literally, like, can, can you see it? There's like, oh, thank you. There's, like, no knuckle there. You know, people usually pay to watch videos like that. <laughs> there's no, like, there's no knuckle there. It's, like, back here in my hand. Mm. And, like, it affects, like, like, if I move my hand just right, I'm like, eh, and it just, it hurts. One more time. Oh wow, that sounds terrible. It's bad. It's wow. really bad. Kind of like the broken thumb that I have right now. I can't wait to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> but indoor voice. Enough. Your dad's over here trying to be a YouTube star. We get. I'm it. on YouTube only to seek approval, and you're crashing that right now. Hey, great news, man. What I'm is going it? conference. You're going conference. I'm going conference. Dude, all this hard work paid off. Paid we're on, off. We're on YouTube for recognition, <clears throat> and we finally got it. I finally got a call. Good news, man. It's great news. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, man. You know, the glory of this whole thing right now... All of this. ...is the fact that, like, you know, we bought these microphones, and tried they, to get them work. And we do not know how to use them. <laughs> no. No, we just need a little bit more equipment. We tried to make it work, and it's just not going to. But since we're using the, the, the microphone on the camera, you know what that allows us to do? It allows us to not have microphones in it front of our faces. It allows us to not have microphones in front of our faces. Yes. You know what else? We can take this thing with us wherever we want to. Insert cool music. Uh, I, I'll, I'll just voice it I'm, over. I'm not creative. I'll Hang voice on. it over. Don't I, worry. I do have to you, fix this a little bit. There we go. You, you just start walking and I'll put in the music. Okay, you can put in the music. Are you going to sing for us? Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do. What are we going to do? So, what are we doing? We're going to Fads. We're going to Frozen Yogurt Place. Then, since, you know, we got to do the... Okay, i got to get my phone. And since we're doing... Oh, God. Since we're doing the drink of the podcast, as we always do, we're going to stop somewhere and get some drinks, too. Don't panic. Don't freak out. Scout, get in the house. Come on, Scout. Get in the house. Come on. Inside you go, ding dong. But don't panic. Don't freak out. <coughs> this is still going to be a podcast. These eyes. Okay, you're done singing. You're done. Oh, okay, my bad. I yeah. just, you know. Oh, am I driving? Yeah, you got to drive. Oh, crap. Let me get my keys. Okay, he's got to go get his keys. But this is basically going to be your good old normal podcast. All the same content. But we're on the go. I mean, why not take the camera with us, right? Oh, you locked the car? I do no I don't. It's close. No, it's not. not even. No. <laughs> well, okay. Hang on, man. Hang on. You got your seat all. I got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, there's my checkbook. There's your checkbook. Straight cash on me? Oh yeah, man. Slide that seat back. Oh! I got you, babe. You know, see usually he's got so much stuff in the front seat of his car. We're gonna drive with the light on. I got you. There you go. I normally have so much stuff in here that he just rides in the back seat, but Let's do I went and played too. ball today, and so I have a cooler in the back. I took out the car seat, so <clears throat> yeah, Not one less. of them things. <clears throat> so, All right. So what's new with the podcast, Jesse? Oh, or on the channel. I'm sorry. Don't forget to buckle up. It'll be. Oh uh, man, hang on. Hold the camera. Yeah, I got it. All right. So while he's doing that, um. <clears throat> What's new on the channel? He just uploaded um, game footage today. Nine videos, uh, I think. Yes, we had. Oh, we had nine games to upload from the NSA. What was it? The Battle for the Bucks. Yes. Last weekend. This is the twenty. 
This is the weekend of the 23rd. Okay. The, I oh, want yeah. vanilla custard with cookie dough on top. Okay. okay. So this is uh, April 23rd. The tournament was last weekend. Yes. If you want to know how to lose a softball game, go watch our last game of the day. It was against the pipe layers, and it it was brutal. At one point, we were up 14 to nothing. And, you know, and, and I will say, nothing against those guys. No. It, it's just the fact that, like, we were up... 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing. We scored, what was it, 9 or 12 after the first inning? I think it was... 12 and then we put up two more runs in that in that second inning and then we didn't score after the second inning just i mean absolutely had two ieos two ieos which cost us basically two innings um, only played six innings on top of that but we got up big and we all started kind of clowning around and jacking around and, and you know doing just kind of what idiots do which is mostly what we do and ended up losing the game 15 to 14, I yep. believe it was. Yep. I mean, wow. Self-destruct in every word. What's so, even more frustrating is we had a good team that day. We did. I mean, we were. I, just, I, I hate that, I hate it that much more when we have a good team. It'd be one thing if we showed up and sucked, but like, I mean, we did suck because we didn't win. <sighs> but we still had like a decent squad. <clears throat> yeah. And. Uh, you know, we, I don't know, there were, I wish there would have been more teams. There was originally like 12 or 14 teams signed up between gold and silver, which if you're not familiar with NSA, uh, gold is basically C in U-Trip and silver is D. There was like, I don't know how many teams, what is it? It was like, you know, 12 or 14 teams, I want to say, signed up and last minute they ended up with only eight teams, four in silver and four in gold. Was that right, or was there five in silver? Four. No, six, five. In, six in silver and four in gold. Was that what it was? Yeah, okay. yeah, because the gold had to do a round robin. Yeah, gold did round robin, which I thought was kind of weird, but, you know, you know softball, got, softball. You only got four teams. Right. Um, I'm looking through here. Oh, I was getting ready to do the same. So you've had... You, you drive, you okay. drive. Well, here, there's my he's, he's trying to kill us all. I mean, every, even phone. you guys. So I've, I'm, I'm right there. So the anarchy and then up. Okay, so what we got... <clears throat> is the Anarchy Radar Test. I believe I talked about that in the last podcast. I can't remember because I, I shot the film or whatever. But we uh, did some radar testing. Moto Man 125YZ from Softball Fans. Real nice guy. Yeah, he is. Sure is. Um, sent me a radar force to play around with. I've used it in that video there and as well as the Smash It Sports 7 video. We'll get there in a minute. We're making our way through here. Um, also did the Jeff Hall Legit video. This year's Jeff Hall, the uh, black and pink. Uh, yeah, black and pink. It's a short barrel edition. Then let's see, running a t-shirt order. Those should be done within the next week or so, and then they'll be shipping out. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Also did the uh, Worth D Donatus Purcell legit, which is basically the replacement for the Rosmondo, since Travis Rosmondo is no longer affiliated with Worth. And then something that everyone has been waiting for. The Louisville Slugger Blue Flame pitching machine. Hola, Hero DBP. <laughs> you know, I think some people kind of took offense to like the intro we used for the video there. Like, like we were like ridiculing them for asking. No, I mean it's just like the question that always gets asked. Right. It, it, it was by no means was it ridicule as much as it was just like having a little fun with it. You know, but, like everybody's asking, so we had a bunch of different people ask what the pitching machine was. But it went through that. You know what it is, how it's set up, you know, kind of a little crash course on how that thing works. Then I did a little teaser of the Freak HB from Softball Fancy Exclusive. Uh, the Freak Honey Badger is what it's called. 12 inch barrel balanced. Now they came out with theirs. Worth posted, Worth and Mike and posted they're coming out with a bunch of new bats again. Just like they did last year, about, you know, end of April, beginning of May. So they're doing it again, but I will say that softball fans released their 12-inch balance before all this other stuff came out. And what sets the softball fans exclusive apart also is it has that stick tack finish on it. Just like last year's Patriot. No, no. You no. haven't you haven't felt it yet, have you? No. Dude, I mean it's the only thing, the only Mikan or worth for that matter, that I can remember that's had this is the free uh, freak ASP. I mean it's uh have you felt those Dudley barrels? No. I mean, it's it's 
crazy. You'll have to feel when we get back. We can do that in podcast too because we can take this thing wherever we want. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> so we also have all three of the Helmer Raw Powers. The uh, I'm sorry, the Eastern Raw Powers. We've got the Helmer and the Baker and the Wegman. Got all those knocked out. It was kind of a bummer. It was on open field. Well, Missouri weather doesn't help. <sighs> like two straight weeks of rain. It was real nice. Started in on some league action too. Yeah. Yeah. Got our first game of that done. Let's see, there's all kinds of stuff on here. I also did an update for the Anarchy prototype. That way those guys can have their bat back. And uh, <laughs> I kind of had a little fun with that video. That prototype was for sale. <laughs> do, now, let me ask you this. Do you PayPal it as goods or do you just do friends and family? No, I, need straight, I need straight cash, homie. Okay. Well, then no PayPal at all then. No. You know what? <clears throat> I got my wallet. Okay. I got paid last time anyway. What? <laughs> well, that can't be right. How did I... Oh well. Anyway. Please be open. Please be open. Moment of truth. Please Are they open? open? Oh! Man. You better call Janet. Man. <sighs> well, you got to do something here. While we're sitting here in this parking lot, let's uh... Man. Go ahead and finish up what we got here. The We did the... Mike and Worth smash it sevens. Yeah, we got that video knocked out. Gabe bought that thing for like a minute. The Worth model. I took it to league <laughs> and and hit four times with it and said I don't want it anymore. No mass. <laughs> no no mass. <laughs> but we got those done. I did a little radar testing with that too. That seemed to go over pretty well. I just took them straight mm. out of the wrapper and took ten swings with each one. Just literally tried to hit it as hard as I could, because because you know one bat might be hotter than the other. Get out of here, really? Right. And as I said, all that game film, I'll have the Worth EST XXL ready to upload tomorrow. Hold this so I can grab my phone out of the floor. I just I got her. Uh, okay. That'll be coming tomorrow. I also have the XL and the uh, balance models to do from the EST ASA line. The, what is it, the Dudley Demolition. I have the balanced ASA and U-trip of those. Thanks to what? I haven't talked to you. Oh. Keep talking. Sorry. Thanks to uh, Big Dave at Senior Softball Bat Reviews. They sent him those to check out. He sent the balanced ones to me. When I get done with those, I'll send those back, and then he'll send the end load ones. Can't wait to get some swings on those just to see what they're about. If you are familiar with Dudley and their senior bats, they have that crazy, you know, grippy, tacky finish that I was talking about. Almost like. You know the free KSP and the free KHB. So that'll be interesting to check those out. As well as some combat senior bats. I know there's not a lot of senior players that watch this channel. There are people that can use senior bats. I did get three of those from softball fans. I might have mentioned it in the last video. But man, it just, we've been so stinking busy trying to keep up with everything. It, it Man, it's just been wild. The freak... No, not... I'm sorry. The Mike and Gamer. The Jeremy Eisenhower exclusive. Nate dropped it off for us the other night, so we'll have it to get going here. Go figure, soon. Nate had another bat. I know, right? <clears throat> I think what does the dude give us like ten bats now? It's crazy. What's she want? Nothing now? Yeah, nothing now. Go figure. Way to ruin the podcast. I'm gonna check to see if Hardy's won't tickle her fancy. Ooh. So the dilemma we're dealing with right now, um, I think it's directly behind us. Our favorite custard shop is closed tonight. Oh, where's it at? And back over there. Eh, back there somewhere, yeah. There's a little custard shop here in town. They're kind of hit or miss on when they're open, though, so that's kind of a bummer. We thought it was going to be open, come and get some custard. Kind of. It do wasn't it. open last night either, though. Really? We went, That's when we went. Was last night? Was it last night? Yeah. We tried to last night, and it was closed because we came through at like 10. <sighs> I don't know. It's really good custard, but it seems to be an inconvenience sometimes. <laughs> they got so many toppings. I know. Oh. What's your favorite kind of custard? Vanilla. Just vanilla plain? Well, yeah, because they got it right the first time. Okay, Derek I understand Moss. they got it right. Okay, yeah, I don't know what Derek Moss said that. Like, if you, what were you going to get tonight? Oh, what was I going to get? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get like a concrete. Yeah. Or like a blizzard or like a McFlurry, however you, you've, whatever, whatever place you go to, they all name it something different. But I get Oreos and um, Reese's peanut butter cups in it. And blend it together. Okay. Because I like peanut butter, and then that gives it like I don't want to actually put peanut butter in it because it makes it too, too yeah, too much peanut butter. Yeah, too so, bitter. So that that Reese's peanut butter cups gives it the right amount of 
custard uh, to peanut butter ratio. I'll side with you on that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I, I like to be complicated just on just about anything when it comes to placing an order. <laughs> he does this thing where he gets a large, like, give him the largest cut possible. Oh, oh yeah. What you say? We're going to Hardee's. Hardee's. Okay. Well, anyway, I, I, so I like the concrete consistency, but I'm not a fan of... You know, putting a bunch of toppings in it. I'm just not. But I like the like the soft consistency of the concrete. But it seems like that what I always end up getting. Ugh, hang on, guys. What I always end up getting is just custard in a cup. Nobody actually like concretes it or whatever. <coughs> I don't know. That's. But <coughs> Pam got it right that one night. Who Pam? The lady working there. She got it. Right oh, I didn't night. know her name. Yeah, uh -huh. or, I think I might have took Brian with me that night. But either way, what'd you do today? I went and played softball. Tell me more. I don't really want to talk about yeah, it. But more. you're going to. Um, <laughs> so it was a benefit fundraiser. Oh, he's here with the headlights. Um, it was a benefit fundraiser. He's gonna cut me off, isn't he? He is. Too. I knew it. That jerk. Uh, don't get his license plate now. Don't need people looking him up. Here, hang on. Can we can we blur it out? <laughs> yeah. So it was a benefit fundraiser to raise money for. Um, cancer awareness it was like strike out cancer or something i don't know where the money was specifically going to but that's what it was for and it was supposed to be at the beginning of the month and then it got rained out so then they moved it to yesterday then it got rained out again yesterday so they moved it to today which was kind of inconvenient because i mean on a sunday i don't mind playing softball on a sunday but like i'd much rather spend it with like with my family right well what gets <clears> me about like sunday softball too especially when it comes to tournaments that run late is you know, you're out like it doesn't matter to me. My schedule's anyway. Yeah, but if you've got kids though, like you're running in, you know, seven, seven thirty, eight o'clock, and then you still got to drive thirty minutes or an hour to get home. Then you still got to do dinner. Oh bed, right, right, right. Bath, yeah, time, yeah. That's what I'm that. saying. As far as but as far as like work for me, right, doesn't matter. But everything else, yeah. I mean, right. It's the end of the weekend, and here you are out here at, you know, eight, nine o'clock at night, maybe even later, depending on how many teams you got. You know, messing around with. You know, playing softball. Right. So the Sunday thing is kind of inconvenient. What is nice is when they do those tournaments, you know, where it's just like, you know, four or six teams. I mean, you're out of there by four or five o'clock. Well, so this thing was supposed to have 17 teams to start with before it got rained out yesterday. And then it dropped down to 12 teams. And so here, funny story for you. So the championship was scheduled for six yesterday. Yeah. Had they have ran it correctly or, you know, ran it or whatever. <clears throat> because they lost teams, somehow they lost game times. Like, they changed how they were going to balance them out. So the championship was scheduled for 6.45 tonight. Wrap your head around that one. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Um, she wants to... Uh, no, thank you. Um, what do you want? Um, vanilla. I need two vanilla shakes um, with no whipped cream. For one of those, both. Sorry, for both of those. Blech. And then I also need a strawberry shake. Alrighty, anything else? No, I think we're good. All right, and all of them are what's coming. Yes. No, sorry. Leave leave the whipped cream on the strawberry one. She'll get mad otherwise. All right. Your total will be ten seventy one secondary. You want them? Thank you. Ooh. See, I don't mind whipped cream. Sixty. But seventy. You know, just like, Killing I don't know. with the exact change. Are you really? Yeah, man, I got 71 cents. <laughs> so I, I don't mind whipped cream on stuff, but when it comes to ice cream, i, I just not a fan. Oh, crunch that can. Because especially when you get down to the bottom of the ice cream, then it starts getting all funky. I mean, then you start, like, you know, if it's a milkshake, you start drinking the whipped cream. It's just not a desirable thing. Yeah. But anyway, continue with your story about um, your softball. So we started the day... And 15 run to our first team. We were hitting on a field into the wind. Um, the fields were a little bit bigger, but we were using hard balls. Guys got to use 44 375s, or come to find out it was any 44 core ball. Oh. Yeah, so there was another team that were using classic M's. Six in one hand, half dozen the other. And yeah. then girls got to use an 11 inch ball. Um, any 11 inch or just? I, I, that's a good question. I don't know. Um, so it was three home runs. The field was a little bit bigger. It was 325 all the way around. But I talked Brian into still spending the money to get the unlimited dingers because if we ended up on a field where the wind was blowing out, I thought right. we may need it, especially with a harder ball. 
Um, so we 15 run the first team, then the second team, we couldn't string together hits the way that we needed to, and then had a couple of defensive blunders. That was against um, J. Ray, Scotty Phillips. Um, Jordan didn't play today, so Carly played. Uh, well, I thought they were both playing. No, nah, I guess because I didn't get back to Jordan quick enough, About so then J. Ray ended up finding somebody. Um, who else was on that team? Amanda Lake was on that team. Okay. Um, was Brian there? No, no. Um, so then they beat us 12-7, to 7, I think. So then that threw us into the loser's bracket. We immediately went and played, is it WE Landscaping or WC Landscaping? The team we lost to, the Home Rush for Heroes. And Show Me Games. Chip. Yeah. So then yeah. we ended up having to face them. Somehow they got thrown into the loser's bracket. I think like shell-shocked. Really? Yeah. And so then they absolutely just tore the cover off the ball. The guys were using 52s. You can hit, you can hit, man. Oh, and they did, too, because they, they ended up sneezing three out. Is Cody playing with them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He didn't have one, though. That don't surprise me. He yeah. can do whatever he wants to do. Oh, yeah. Anyway. He was good. I burned him, though. Got him! Yeah, so let's talk about that. So, yeah, man. Yeah, so I was swinging a big boy bad today. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I don't know if you guys deal with, like, 30s my very much. I mean, Ooh, Am right. America's becoming feminized. You know, there's... <laughs> there's. Will! I don't want to do this. I don't want to go through this with you. I'm just saying, no, I'm not even talking about you swinging 26s. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about you you and your feminized rant. Like, well, I'm just and saying. And let me tell you what else about taxes and inflation. <laughs> huh? And they and North Korea. And no. they just need to build that wall already. <laughs> God dang. You, you, I saw this beam. Uh, Let's see if I can find it and put it on what here. What was it? Stop. So I saw it. It was like, you know. What if we build the wall? Then they'll just swim around. And it was an arrow going from the Gulf around Florida and into Carolina. <laughs> I mean, it, it proves a good point. What are you going to do about that? But we'll play sharks in the water. <laughs> yeah. American but, sharks tattooed. Back on topic. Um, I don't know if anybody's really dealt with, you know, 30-ounce DeMarinis at all. But I've had... Oh, uh, four or five at least, and they all come in around 28 ounces on a scale. I've got a 30 ounce Mad Dog, which is a Canadian food dog basically from like 2013. Um, it's a 30 ounce sticker, 30 ounce, and it comes in on a scale at 28.1 with a, with a thin layer of tape on it. You I know just, what scales at? Yeah. Oh wow. So that's what I'm saying. Like just because it says 30 ounce, like everybody's like, oh, I can't swing that. It's a 30. I'm gonna tell you something. That thing is hotter than donut grease, and it's not 30 Hi. ounces. There's 20 and 71. Would you like a drink carrier with this? No. We're going to make it without it. I'm making that decision right now. Okay. Nice. Lord help us. Is that strawberry? Yeah. There you go. That's All right. What you got to do with it. Give me a second to Thank you. But anyway, Dave's kind of been going through some bats and stuff, which is something I still need to do is post bats. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that, Maybe I'll do that on the vlog, too. Yeah, but basically, I can't make up my mind what I'm doing, and my swing's been a mess. And, and here's your change. Thank you. You're welcome. Y'all have a good evening. You, you too. too. Um, hang on just a second. If I can find it. Okay, so continue with what you were saying. Um, basically, I've been having some struggles at the plate. I can't really figure out, like, what I'm... Like, it's just been bad. I don't know... You, you, you walk the people through what I've been doing. I don't know. He's just kind of been in a funk. I mean, it, honestly, to me, it's nothing more than that. You're a good enough hitter that, you know, you, you're not going to let it affect you. What are you, gonna, you want to go to break time to get these drinks? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that's probably going to be the best selection. Um, you're not going to let it affect you. Oh, I need to roll that window, too. Yeah, you do. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's troublesome because, like, I'm not somebody that's you know, thin, so I don't get brought around just to like go play like lockdown center field <laughs> even though I could. So like I need to hit, I need to hit if I'm going to stick around and play somewhere. Right. So <clears throat> in an effort to try and correct the situation, I'm, I've unloaded everything. It's all gone. Poof. It's kind of, kind of the theory of just get one bat and swing it for everything because he's got an orange derby boys that is just nuts. Very nuts. And so because of the Missouri ASA rule, you can swing whatever you want as long as it's not a senior or one of the 11 band bats. Right. So you can use an NSA or a U-trip bat. We plan on playing a little NSA this year, so why not just get an NSA or a U-trip bat and just beat the tar out of it, use it for everything. Right. So, 
so that's the route we went. Dave's got, what do you got, five bats that need to be sold. Yeah. I've got one of my own that needs to be sold. And we found a steal of a deal. Steal of a deal. On some Freak Blacks from last year, 27 ounces. Uh, I think we got four of them for four. like 120 a piece. Something close to that, yeah. Yeah, it's like 120 a piece. New in the wrapper mm -hmm. with a receipt and barcode and all that happy stuff, so couldn't be happier with that fine. I know I'm, you know, Mr. Short Barrel and everything else, but, you know, sometimes it is what it is. You, you swing what's affordable, not the hottest or anything like that. What? I love the milkshake. Is that real nice? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. So anyways, because of that, um, I didn't have any bats. Like, I could have swung that Derby Boy today, but it was a little cool. And with hard stuff, like, it's probably not the best idea right now. So I didn't have anything to swing. He says, hey, swing this Mad Dog. I swung it in BP yesterday, and things were going <laughs> really good. So then I swung it today, and things were still, like, pretty good. <laughs> so between, I have an Avers that's got, like, 19.6 bajillion swings on it. Oh, man. We have that Mad Dog. We've got stuff to get us by until we can get these mm -hmm. freak bracks, excuse me, freak blacks broken in. Yeah. But once we do, I'm I'm really feeling good about that. Just mm -hmm. get one bat, swing it for everything. Got another one on standby. Yep. So if something happens, you know you're, you're primed and ready to go. But what we're doing right now, we are sitting right here in front of Yield Break Time in Moberly, Missouri, <laughs> and we're gonna do something crazy here for the drink of the podcast. I'll tell you what we're gonna do so nobody's gonna drag a camera inside and feel yeah. awkward. Yeah, Um Take our phones and record it from that. No, Just... I'll stay here. Okay. You go get the drink, bring it out in a brown paper bag. Okay. And then I'll go in and get one. You'll have to spot me some cash because I'm irresponsible and forgot my wallet. BRB. Okay. Hey, tell them stories. Okay. <laughs> he always puts me on the spot with saying, tell a story. <laughs> But I do want to get on a rant about something, though, just while he's inside doing that. Um, he, he kind of stays out of some of the... Let me do this, because I'm getting serious for a minute. And he, he tries to stay out of you know the rants and things like that. One thing that's been... I, I want to start with saying, anybody that asks me any questions or anything like that, trust me when I say, I appreciate you asking me questions. I appreciate that you want my opinion. But I sometimes some of the back comparisons that I get, it's just kind of like, did, uh, you know, for example, be like, you know, what do what what would I what's hotter, uh, a Canela Jit or a Freak Thirty? I mean, you're on completely opposite ends of the spectrum there. I mean, you've got an inloaded short barrel or a really balanced big barrel. What works for me may not work for you. I think I've talked about this in another podcast before. So forgive me for kind of talking about the same thing twice, but it's not so much the brand of the bat as much as it is in general. I mean, just people want comparisons of like, or maybe like an Easton, you know, versus a Worth. Well, the Easton's going to take time to break in. Will it get as good as the Worth? Yeah, I do believe so. But instant gratification is selling bats right now, so the Worth is going to be where it's at. Long story short, you know, if I say a bat is good, then it's good. I'm not out here sugarcoating things. Uh, there's bats that I'm not a fan of. I'm actually going to have a couple of reviews coming on, those, on on stuff like that here pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil it and say what they are. But long story short is, you know, if I say a bat is good, it's good. Now, when you ask me to compare it to one thing to the next, like people want to compare a Freak 12 to a Helmer, that kind of thing. Eh, I mean, you got to give the Helmer time to break in. That's the deal of it. Take that nickel in two and give it to the cashier. Don't ask questions. Okay. Okay, tell a story. Yeah, okay. So, I got. So anyway, oh, 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 put me back on the spot here. Yeah. So, long story short. Long story long at this point. Yeah, long story long at this point. My point being here is, you know, I may not like a balanced bat like you like a balanced bat. So, for me to say, oh, I would get a Freak 30, somebody gets a Freak 30 and then they message me and say, oh, I don't like this Freak 30, I like my balanced bat better. Well, you know, that's why I don't make that direct suggestion. Or people say, you know, which is hot, this or this, and I'll say, well, what do you usually game? Well, I'm gaming a balanced bat right now, but I don't mind swinging an inload. 
So I'm going to suggest the balance bat because that's what you're swinging. Right, that's what you're used to. Back to the whole don't mix it up thing. Use one bat for everything right. or the closest thing you can. Right. Long story short, swing what you're swinging. If you swing a balance bat, buy another balance bat. If you swing an inload, buy another inload. What's hotter, the Purcell Legit or the Freak 30? Can you really go wrong? It's a Mike and Earl worth. It's a short barrel compared to a big barrel at that point. Right. Find what fits you right. and go on. <clears throat> Tell a story. <laughs> I got a good one. Man, screw telling the story. We're going to talk about WrestleMania. So, <clears throat> it's been a while since we did a podcast. WrestleMania is a pretty solid night. Um, here's my thing, though. I think The Undertaker's, like, done. Like, officially done. And so, I don't know how many people, like, watch wrestling. I really enjoy it. I used to watch it when I was a kid. I love watching it again. <clears throat> so, The Undertaker's, like, been one of them dudes that's always been around. Always been just, like, the guy. So, I'm a little, like... Confused at like the fact that like he's really done personally. I don't think his streak should have ever ended. That's an entirely different conversation um, But I don't like the fact that Roman Reigns like sent him on his way out. I'm kind of I'm kind of rubbed raw by that um, Like I understand Roman Reigns is like the new guy and like they want to put him over but at the same time like I just don't like I don't don't like him so then like for him to be the one to like that to be The Undertaker's last match. Like, I've got a real problem with that. So, I was reading online that the that the guy, the, the wrestler, Mark Calloway, um, he has, like, retired The Undertaker character. So, then it makes me wonder, like, could Mark Calloway come back in some capacity or, or facet? So, that's going to be really interesting. Um... If anybody wants to talk more about wrestling, um, you can always reach out and find me because, like, I kind of enjoy it. Um, Seth and I kind of have conversation every now and again about it. Um, so, yeah, that would that'd be cool if you guys wanted to talk about that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not what he wanted me to do as far as telling a story was concerned. So let's think of something different. Um, we went and played League on Tuesday night. Jesse had to work. And I got to swing the Derby Boy for the first time. Like, really, like, swing it this year. It's really good. The uh, the compression disc is starting to get a little rattle to it. And so it's really stinking hot. Like, I need to move this back just a pinch. Yeah, much better. Um, so the compression disc is starting to rattle a little bit. So it's starting to get, like, really stupid hot. So we had some fun with it um, at League on Tuesday night. Had a couple of really good base hits. Um, starting to get that really good combat crack for any of you guys that know that. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so then we turned around. I got picked up for League on Thursday night. And so um, broke it out again there. Yeah, people forgot to put that in a brown paper sack. I see that coming a mile away. Um, <clears throat> so I got picked up again for League on Thursday night. Um, we ended up pulling out a win for that. And I swung it again there. And it's starting to get, like, really good. It was a, co a cooler night. And so, um, the ball was really carrying well. And we ended, up, we ended up chipping away and coming back and beating the team. Um, pretty good team. It was Supplement Nation. Um, they're not playing the B-Double Header League, which is, like, the, the top, I say top league, but, like, the best league in Columbia. So, they're only playing C. Talking about Thursday night when Tank beat Supplement Nation. Oh yeah, yeah. Talking about I got and them Tank kids are balling, man. They are, and man, that Lane kid. Two hundred percent, man. I'm okay with it. So, anyways, long story long, I got to swing the Derby Boys. So that's pretty exciting. Um, it's starting to get to a really good spot. Um, I like it a lot. Anyways, I told two stories because okay. I had time. Yeah, man. I'll tell you what. I thought you were setting me up for failure. Mm -hmm. We well, was like, you was like, go in there. And give her this nickel. Yeah. I was like, man, he's trying to get this old lady to do something strange. Nope. Piece of change. Nope. But she was like, oh, no, it's all right. I'm like a dollar and something cents over in my drawer anyway. I was like, wow, way to say you suck at math. Well, basically what happened, when I rang up his, it came up here. You take the camera, okay. Um I feel like it's really close to my face. Yeah. So when when I, I rang up his, it came to a dollar four. And so I gave her two ones. Did you get my change? Yeah, it's in my pocket. Okay. Um, 
I gave her two ones. She's like, that's all right, sweetheart. Just go ahead and take the one. And I was like, okay. So I came out here, and then I, was, I found that nickel where I normally keep my change at. So I wanted you to give that to her just to kind of make right. things easy. I hope that you and I didn't get each other the same thing. No. Well, how much was yours? Dollar four. Okay, no, there's no way we did. Okay. I spent like six dollars on yours. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Hold on. Did you get me a juice? No. Dang it. <laughs> I meant to tell you I wanted something carbonated. <laughs> so do we want to do the big reveal now? Yeah. Okay. All right, who goes first? <laughs> what, what is this? White raspberry bliss reduces stress. <laughs> read the back, read the back. Neuro bliss reduces stress. 200 IU, that's some new mathematics. Yeah. A vegetarian vitamin D. <laughs> Vegan, gluten-free, lactose-free. <laughs> For any of you that don't know, I only eat like meat, potatoes, corn, and like green beans. Like those are the basic four like food groups of days. <laughs> so this is gonna be good. Go you're, ahead. You're actually gonna like yours. I think honestly, I think it'll be good. Ooh, it is carbonated. It's carbon. I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> hey, <drink. sighs> See, I think that it's got a flat taste to it, man. That tastes like cough syrup. It's got like a that tastes like cough syrup. That's a fod. That's a fod. <laughs> That's a fod. <laughs> All right. Take a gander at yours, because I actually hooked you up. <laughs> oh, Mystic Bahama Blueberry. <laughs> the Bahama Blueberry apparently flavored Dave, drink. Apparently Dave actually likes you a little more than you like him. <laughs> I mean, you should have knew I was setting you up for failure. I should have known. So let's, let's give it a whirl here. Different. It's like... Juice, but I'm going to McDonald's getting a coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that we wasted money on this. <laughs> What's the drink of the podcast, bro? <laughs> well, Dave just vetoed this. <laughs> we need to get these. We need to get ice cream homes. What we need to do? I put it in an executive order and made a decision that I was <laughs> going to run this. You better hurry up because. My wife gets melted ice cream. She's gonna kill us both. And she's busy putting a baby down. It won't take long. Let me tell you. Yeah, there's no way she's still like. It's like 9:42. Hey, what? Well, you know what? You'd mentioned it mm -hmm. on your way home. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go ahead? God dang. Hey, can you? Am I going back? I think you missed a bump. <laughs> Why don't you give us a good old dear God real quick? You said you had a few. Go ahead and hit us. Dear God, why is it that when y you tell people that you can do <clears throat> a 44 core ball that they don't bring them? Ben Faulkner said today that, sorry, let me backtrack. So we looked at their ball and we were like, they're hitting a 52 300. That's weird. Like, they know they can hit a harder ball. And so Brian told him, he was like, hey man, you know, you guys know you can hit something harder. He's like, yeah, there's just nowhere to get them. It's like, no, man, you ever heard of Google? Bro. Like, that would have been the perfect time for, and did you know that Evil Sports makes a special blend? <laughs> I mean, Find it now at evilsports.com. Did, did you know that there's this thing called the internet? I mean, I thought he was supposed right. to. Right. Right. I wanted to be like, have you ever Googled? Well, I thought he was supposed to be a rep for some company or something. I don't know. I don't know. I was just, I was just surprised that, like, he said that. Here's another one, okay? So. Oh, yeah, he, he's gonna start rolling here. Dear God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put the spotlight back on him here. <laughs> Why is it that when the tournament director tells you one set of rules and then an umpire tells you, no, we're playing Missouri ASA rules, like, signals get crossed? So, we're in our last game of the day, and to that point, it was set up like Columbia's co ed ASA rules. So, when you do a courtesy runner, you get one for a guy. One for a girl. Okay. So we use our runner for our girl. Harmon gets in base on base in front of me. 
we wanted to get somebody a little quicker on the base pass, save Chris, you know, because he's playing the outfield. Right. So we called time again and said, hey, we're going to swap runners. And Travis Edwards was umpiring. And so <clears throat> he says, nope, you've already used your courtesy runner. And <clears throat> Brian said, no, 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 we, we get two. He's like, no, we're playing by Missouri ASA rules. And Brian goes, well, do you want to talk to uh, – what was her name? Mickey, Mandy, Felicia. I don't know. She, she had a name. Rick. Yes, her name was Rick. Rick Conley. <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. Do not throw Rick Conley under the bus like that. Rick Conley is a nice man. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, you said Rick. Oh, I was oh, just well, simply yeah. making a name. I'm not throwing Rick under the bus. <laughs> um, so, anyways, he was like, do you want me to go get what's her butt and uh, ask her? <laughs> said he's, like, he's like, no. We're playing by Missouri ASA rules. And so then it was just like, well, now hold on a second. Where are signals getting crossed that she told everybody one thing and then you're squashing it and telling everybody something totally different? Like, what what happened there? That, my friend, is unorganized softball at its best. Yeah. Not that it would have helped us any. Man, Danny got run up looking today. Really? Yeah. So, Danny, dear, so dear God, why is it that, like, your strike zone changes for the away team and the home team? This, oh, man, you had to beat the home team again? Oh, my God. Well, so, like, it was, like, them WC landscaping kids. They're a good team, so I'm not taking anything away from them. Right. But it seemed like the guy that was pitching for them was, like, making it rain in. And then meanwhile, like, Damon... Now, now, when you say make it rain in, are you talking like... I'm not... It was close to Damon's standards. Man, Damon, you got some competition, bro. It was, uh... It was Allen something or rather. He used to play... I don't know if he used to play with the Wizards. He used to play with that River Rats team. You remember them? Mm -mm. Yeah, he used to play with them. I don't know. All I know is Damon, man. Welcome back to McDonald's. I'm going to help you. Hi there. I need a large Coke with light ice, please. And that'll be it. Dollar eight, I'm guessing. Help, I'm being held hostage. He's not. Please don't listen to him. Dollar eight. I'm being held against my will. Stop. Can you throw a large water in uh, there? No. I'm sorry, what did you say besides the large scope light eye? That's it. Don't the guy next to me is being a jerk. Um, I'm being held against my will. Stop. I'm trying to order. Dollar <laughs> eight, is that what the total's gonna be? I need six number twos. Yes, it is a different one now. Thank you. Do you realize the looks we're gonna get? Yeah. God, I hate I hate when you do this. <laughs> I'm bringing uh, it out against my will. That makes me... <laughs> Give me a dollar. I know you've got one. In yeah, there. I got a dollar. Hang on. So anyway, the strike zone was changing. The strike zone was changing. So Danny, he said that the ball hit the plate. I don't know if it did or not, but man, he, he's shorter, so maybe that was part of the problem. But, like, it looked really stinking high out of his hands. Really? Yeah, and so he ended up getting rung up looking at a ball. But then we had – I had a throw at second for a force out, and Travis said the girl beat it, but he made the call from home. Like, he didn't run out to, like, try and make the call. Well, no. Why would you? I don't know. Why is it that umpires refuse to move at times? Yeah. I've wondered that, too. Like, I'm, okay, peop, some people aren't a big fan of JoJo. I love the fact that he gets out there. Dude, and he's he, everywhere. He's everywhere. Like, he's at every bag when you need him to be there. Right. I love that. Absolutely love that. And, you know, I mean, that's something to be said, too. You know what I've done before? I, I don't have it on film. But I've bumped into an umpire before. Mm-hmm. Because when I pitch, I don't <clears> – <throat> I've been bad about it. I, I noticed that I was editing film from the tournament last weekend. Um, I try and make it a point to be backing up a play wherever I'm at. Be somewhere other than standing there watching the play happen. I caught myself a, a few different times just standing there and watching a play happen. But, you know, I, I'm always trying to be somewhere to back up a play. You know, and it's paid off at times. And I've bumped into umpires who are, you know, out running around trying to get a better angle on a call. But, I, yeah, I agree. I mean, there should be... You know, more of that. I'm not an umpire, so, you know, I'm not necessarily one to judge or point fingers or anything like that, I guess. I don't like umpiring softball games. No. No. Do I, not. I don't like it strictly from all of, like, all of the testosterone that runs out there and, like, the league heroes. Like, that would wear – that. Well, mm -mm. Yeah, see, and that's my problem with it. Like, even when you go to a tournament, it's like, hey, 
like a benefit tournament or something, you know, where everything's, you know, free for charity. It's like, hey, you mind umpiring a game? Like, uh, man, I gotta go wash my cat. Yeah. I gotta go wash my it, hair. <laughs> it, it, it's it's nothing against the cause. It's nothing against the tournament. It's nothing against people. I, I don't want to be a part of that. I mean, seriously, I've maybe umpired two games in my entire. So I've been playing slow pitch for almost ten years. And I've umpired maybe two or three games. Whoa! I almost got it, didn't they? I think he did get it. Did he really? I think he did. I think he. Nice. I think he curb rashed that pretty good. Whoops! At the slide. So they got these poles. That like you know, kind of keep you from running into the building. Can you see it right there? It's got like a sign on it, so it's not so unsightly. But a pretty, oh, I bet he brushed a sign. Oh, maybe. I mean, I've seen people hit those poles before, just trying to get really close to the window. Man, you don't really grind my gears. You gonna do another one? Uh, well, it's not a dear God. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. Dear God, why is it that they have to make softball fields so much bigger than some other complexes? Like, why is it that each complex has, like, their own, like, like, why can't we just all get on board and be, like, 300-foot fence? That's what's going to be standard yeah, everywhere. 25 feet don't sound like much. <laughs> when the wind's blowing in or, like, <laughs> something like that, like. And for those of you who have not played in Jefferson City, Missouri. Was it 63 uh, Field of Legends? What's it Field of Legends, now it's 63 Diamonds. Yeah. Those fields are 325, and they look and play like they're 500 freaking feet. Here's the other thing, too. Hey, don't worry, though. I've still dropped dick in there before. <clears throat> it sits in the middle of a sod field or next to a sod field, so there's nothing to cut the wind. No, it's flat. So when the wind comes howling through there, like it starts to really throw havoc. It does. And I, ugh, I don't like that. No, it, it's for the birds. Wind is for the birds anyway. I just wish that they could, like we could all get on board and be like 300 foot fences, 315, like just standard everywhere. I don't know. I like kind of mixing it up a little hey, bit man. myself. A large cup light ice. Yep, dollar eight. He's being held hostage. Me! <laughs> He's, I'm being held against my will. He's annoying me tonight, man. <laughs> Absolutely annoying me. We good? Yeah. Appreciate good. you, buddy. <laughs> oh man, I like him. Who is I, that? I, I don't know who he is, but when Brian and I used to come here on Monday nights, yeah, he was always trying to hook us up with like good ideas for meals. That's dope. He's the one that got me turned on to the uh, getting a double cheeseburger. And replacing the cheese with the white Swiss that they put on the chicken sandwich. See, yeah, <clears throat> we tried that. I don't know. I didn't notice the difference. Oh, doesn't matter if you noticed the difference. It was still good. Mom didn't notice the difference. God, I hate you. <laughs> oh, what are we doing here? Oh, come on with it. Come on. Traffic with it. jam. Traffic jam. Mueller. Hey, okay, where are you going? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, hey, that's, uh, that's what's her butt. Uh, hmm. Vanessa, I think, she also helps Brian and I out when it comes to good ideas for, for sandwiches and things. Oh, man, are you just a regular here or what? On Mondays we were, after volleyball. Well, how about that? Yeah. I need to pitch this. Well, pitch it then. Yeah, I'm going to. There's Boy. something else that I wanted to talk about in this podcast. Um, oh, I got something else, too. Okay, go talk it. about. Um, friend of the podcast, Randy. Uh, base plays with stingrays. Yeah, we got a new glove. We got a new glove. Oh, uh, you got to tell me more about that. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I love Randy. Gotta love Randy. The guy is he's a Randy nut, got man. a job. <laughs> the, the dude is a nut. Hang on just a second. All right, so I gotta stop the camera and then start it over again. We're gonna quit recording, but anyway, oh, man, so, so much better. Randy, man, that guy. <laughs> that guy is just ate up now. Whoa! They had Ooh. what? I didn't know you didn't have the lid on that. Oh, I didn't know I didn't either. <laughs> so they were gonna have um, PSA softball, which is <laughs> I'm not even gonna like talk about any of that stuff. They were gonna have a tournament in Columbia, and on top of the tournament already being kind of pricey, the tournament fee being kind of pricey, having to buy balls on site, having to buy balls on site, and you're registering a team for a lot of teams that were only going to play one tournament with PSA. I mean, it was going to add up quick. And then two seven. What was it? Two seventy five to entrance fee. Two seventy five for an entrance fee. Seven dollars per ball. Seven dollars a ball because you have to use their balls. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then twenty five dollars to for, register your register, team. Yep. Now, if you're going to play more than one PSA event, that's fine. But, you right. know, a lot of those teams aren't. It's softball, and they want to play. Here's the other thing, too. Those balls are a leather cover, so they cut super easy. Yeah. 
I was not impressed and with so that. And so all it takes is a ball to get a cut in it, and the umpire's not going to let it play. Right. So then, you know, to be on the safe side, plus with home runs and anything else, you're probably looking at buying a half dozen. So you just dropped $42 on balls alone now, for, I, for just six? Now, I will say that as far as, like, the umpires and everything goes, this, th that sanction is great. I had no... No qualms with the umpires or anything like that. I have no qualms with that. I'm just simply saying that, like, the money adds up quick. Oh, yeah. So then, on top of that, on top of, you know, all the other expenses that we listed, um, they decided they were going to charge $2 a head for a gate fee, which is something that never takes place in Columbia or Jeff City. ASA doesn't charge a gate fee. I know the NSA does. Yes. But that's only for a state tournament. Right. That's it. ASA state does not and never has charged a gate fee. They decided they were going to do two dollars a head. It is a two-day tournament. So two dollars a head. Two dollars a head, or what was it? Five? Or no? No. It was, it was a three. It was originally going to be three dollars a head or five for the weekend. Yeah, three, three a head, five for the weekend, and then they were like, "Oh, hey, you don't like that? Let's just do two dollars a day." And then it was two dollars for one day, nothing on the second day. It was just, people were just losing their mind over the gate fee, and I get it. By the time, I mean, look, for some people, if you're just going there to watch, two bucks isn't a huge deal. But if you're playing there, and you're wanting to take your family, like some like some of these teams that we play against are good family nature teams. Like right. they, they bring out their spouses, they bring out their kids. I, mean, like, I need to check on my phone. They make a day at the park with it. <clears throat> so Hang by, on, guys. That's a bad angle here for a minute. Oh. So by the time that you've already, you know, picked $25 per, day, per player, and then you've thrown on, you know, everything else on top of that. That adds up quick. Very. Very quick. So, you know, at the end of the day, it, it's still, you know, two more dollars to play softball. I mean, good God, just don't get another beer. Right. But there were people losing their minds. And, you know, we're kind of poking fun at it and having fun with it. <laughs> and our friend Randy and I had the clever plan that we were... <laughs> We were going to podcast right there at the gate and be interviewing people and asking what they thought about the gate fees. Because, man, it was just such a mix of emotions. Such a mix of emotions. And it brought it brought out some of the best <laughs> of the internet, though. <laughs> a lot of people show their true colors. Oh, man. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So, anyway, so <laughs> Tuesday night at League, we're facing the team that Randy plays on. And uh, I was sitting in the bleachers in between at bats with Jordan and uh, Shane Bear. Okay. And uh, Shane was like, hey, Randy's got a new glove. Ask him about it. I was like, he does? I was like, Randy, what size is that glove? He's like, oh, man, it's 12 inches, and I play so much better with it. I said, hold on. I said, you could have used any adjective. You went with so much better. Wait, I was like, turn it for. Oh, it's, I'm not going to my house. I'm okay. going to yours. So I was like, so much better? I was like, you just don't play much better or just a little better? <laughs> He's like, man, 12-inch glove, it's, it's like the best thing. I was like, Randy, just stop. Just, just quit it, man. It looked, like he, it looked like he had a nice glove, though. I didn't even ask him anything. I was just razzing him because of the fact that he was like, it makes this place so much better. I, mean, I love Randy, man. He's so awesome. He was there today. Really? Wasn't playing. He was Just there. hanging out. I was. He had a can koozie, and it was like 11 o'clock. And I was like, I slid it down a little bit. He's like, yeah, I'm drinking some of that natural light. I was like... <laughs> Randy, it's 11 o'clock. He's like, yeah, and I'm already eight deep. I said, oh, good Lord. I was like, buddy, you better sober up quick. <laughs> I'm uh, already eight deep. He was so proud. Oh, he was I so proud. I love pumped. that guy, man. And meanwhile, so then I see, I run into Jordan. I'm like, I just ran into Randy, and he said he's already eight deep. And Jordan goes, son of a bitch. He was like, I'm only three deep. I got to catch up. <laughs> oh, man, it was it was funny. Such a good time, man. If, if any of you all, you know, like traveling for tournaments or, or this and that, if you're in like surrounding areas, Area. A good tournament that just about everybody in Columbia will be at is Home Runs for Heroes coming up. Well, I can't remember. They've released a date. I can't remember. <laughs> September 30th. Is it September 30th? Okay. Great tournament for a good cause. We talked about it a lot last year, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I have no qualms with just about anybody in Columbia. Great. I mean, everybody's great. I love going down there. I mean, I could, I would go down there, you know, every night if I could. Mm -hmm. Go down there, find somebody to talk to, hang out. Softball in Columbia is great. So if you want to come be a part of something like that, come hang out with us for whatever reason it might be. Come check that tournament out. We'll all be there. You guys can even meet Randy. Oh, I bet, man. I bet Randy would, <laughs> Randy would just wear a sign. I'm Randy. I'm, Randy. I, I'm the Randy. And he'd, he'd be tickled to death. Yeah, man, I'm Randy. 
Randy, what's going on? <laughs> Maybe we can make us some custom shirts or something. Oh my! If we could find like a way to put like a screen print of his face with like Randy <laughs> hashtag hashtag where's Randy? <laughs> oh my God! He, he, when he hears this, he gonna be. I, I'm gonna hear about it Tuesday night. I can already feel it. As, if you get it up before Tuesday, I'm gonna hear about it. You said get it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. So on the topic of gloves, that's what I was gonna talk about. I kinda wanna get into doing You closed the garage door? She must have. She must have. I kinda wanna get into doing some more product reviews. You know, whether it be gloves, um, maybe doing some batting gloves. I know people do like batting gloves, I'm not a fan personally. Um, bags, maybe some turf. Are these deer skin or are they cow hide? Oh god. But just, just something to kind of like add some more content to the channel, I guess you could say. Just kind of mix things up a little bit. I, I do like the idea of doing glove reviews. You should do cups and just let me throw balls at your junk. No. <laughs> You're lost. Oh, dude, we could we could set the pitching machine on like really fast mm -hmm. and just like let them just wail on wail on them. <laughs> Did you? Y'all ever remember that show Sports Science? It used, to be yeah. on, it used to be on Spike TV and then ESPN bought it out or whatever. There was this guy and he had this cup. It was called the Nutty Buddy. And, and like the way the cup was set up, like it was like like shaped weird, like where like your balls would be. I, I'm sorry, let me be a little where your testicles would be. <laughs> and so like he was talking about it, and they had this pitching machine cranked up to like 80 miles oh, an no hour. No way. And so like they put a thing of plexiglass in front of him just to like get it like zoomed in. And like they got it all dialed in, and they moved that pitching or that uh, the plexiglass away, and they were like, "Are you ready?" And he's like, "Oh yeah!" <laughs> Threw his hands behind his head, and they were like, "Ball, boom!" And they kicked that thing through there, and he just smiled. Yeah, dude. And it kicked straight off of his junk, and he couldn't have been happier. He's like, "It works!" <laughs> I'm gonna I'm show you, I'm gonna find the video. You wanna know the oh, worst? Oh man, I'm, well, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'll put the link in the description down below. Do you wanna know the worst sound to hear on a baseball, or on a ball field? A nutty ball, Buddy Cup, look <laughs> at it. A ball going off of somebody's cup. <gasps> Thunk. Oh Wait, God. we'll watch it later, we're on the podcast. Well bro. no, I just wanna, I just, hang on, I wanna find, I wanna find that spot. I mean, you, I already, I already found it. Uh, it. I mean, that is like the worst sound ever. Hear somebody like get a bad hop and you just hear like, Man, you, you you just know that he just got wrong. Play it back, play it back. <laughs> pounds of force to only 110 pounds. Meaning, the Nutty Buddy lowers the impact forces by an astonishing 2,000%. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that wild? No way. Man. You ready to hop in? Yeah, we'll go inside. But I don't know. I thought about doing like some glove stuff, bags. Are you going live tonight? That kind of thing. No, we ain't gonna go live. Okay. I'm almost done here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not like a glove expert per se. I am a fan of. Right. I'm a fan of Vinci gloves, and I know a lot of people aren't. Um, I I I love Vinci products. What about second to none? I thought, like, I, if, if I knew what I wanted, I would get an S2N. Oops. Oop, here. But, I don't know. we got things we can do. Definitely, you know, play around with it a little bit. Maybe even do, like, you know, some jerseys. Just to see what kind of, you know, like, maybe come up with one design for a jersey and then everybody, you know, make that jersey and see who does it the best. I don't know. There's options there. I just want to kind of, like, expand on the element of... Uh, the BP Hero a little bit. So let me know what you guys think we should do. Man, that would get expensive. It could. I'm talking about, well, I'm, I'm just, you mentioned the jersey thing just then. Well, you'd have to find companies that would want, be willing to work with you, make one jersey just for something like that. I mean, you know, you, you got options. But stand by with us. We're going to go in the house. Alright, so we're back home and settled in here. Got done what we needed to get done. Uh, got some milkshakes. We didn't get everything that we wanted done. I really wanted some fads. Well, that is true. We did want some frozen custard, didn't get that. But my point being, we got our milkshakes, got some mystery drinks. I scored on that big time. 
Sorry you hated your drink, Dave. It was part of the fun. Get something weird and interesting, man. Yeah. I will say the mystic was the, the mystic. It was interesting. What was that? But back on topic to what I was talking about when we were in the car, uh, along with new food, along with you know maybe doing some glove reviews, just different slow pitch oriented product reviews. What would you guys like to see as far as you know what I do with your review goes? I'm not going to use that radar that I used in the Smash It 7 video. I'm not going to use that on every single review. I'm just not. There's just too much work, too much time. Y you know, I'm really just going to kind of pick and choose when, I, when and what I want to use that on. There's really going to be no rhyme or reason to when I do it. Just something to kind of add it up, you know, add it up. You know, add something different, a different element, that kind of thing. And that's kind of what I'm asking you guys. Like, what would you like to see? What was, what's something you would like to see? To do different. Different. We can talk about wrestling. I meant in the bat review, you idiot. Oh, yeah, right. No, I knew that all along. Um, something different in a bat review. Maybe some people that don't suck. I mean, they're, you know. I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. I got an idea, but I don't want to put it out there well, yet. Well, how come? That's what we're talking about. <clears throat> well, no, man. I don't want to put it out there just yet, because you may already have something in the world. I, I'll talk to you. This ought to be good. Well, no, I'm just... <clears throat> I got something in mind. I just... You, you, we'll talk. Um, Cliffhanger. I like what I did on Saturday yeah. when we took BP. Yeah. With the uh, Dinger Ball Showdown. <laughs> I'm gonna, I am going to do something with that. We talked about it in the last video, maybe doing something. What I'm going to do is we may do that like on, as a segment on the podcast from now on. Okay. Just to see, like, how did he do? Okay. Make it a big production and everything. I'll have to come up with a name for the segment of the show, that kind of thing. Randy, you get to name the segment. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it politically correct and PG-13. <laughs> Can Randy do that? Good luck. <laughs> Brought to you by Natural Light. <laughs> God's nectar. <laughs> All right, so we're just kind of rambling and, and going on at this point. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this podcast. It was something different. Yeah. For sure. We needed a podcast. Didn't feel like digging all the equipment out. And I thought to myself, we can take this camera anywhere. Why don't we just grab it and go? So that's what we did. Um. So real quick, so I'm guessing it'll probably be... A week or two weeks before you and I podcast again, probably. So we'll have, I'll well, I will have potentially played on Saturday. Keep uh, talking. Oh, it's just work. I knew I was going. <clears throat> I will have potentially played. Hello. This next Saturday, and then the following week. So I definitely should have something additional. To Plenty talk of about. stories. Well, because this next weekend's the the bash for the cash there in Columbia. Yeah. Thousand dollar payout as long as sixteen teams signed up. I believe is what I saw. I think he's up to ten already. So, otherwise, I don't know what the payout will be, if anything. Maybe maybe know. your entry fee back, but still, that'll be uh, that'll be interesting because I've heard rumblings as far as what may take place there with that, and then be some good teams show up for sure. And then the week after, I believe it's Coed and Bevere. Yeah, I'll be out for that one. Yeah, so Nate, Nate and Katie get married. Nate Cunningham, the guy that gives us like every freaking bat for our videos, it seems like. Him and his old lady getting married. They get married? They get married. Congratulations, guys. So we'll be at that wedding. Yeah, that'll Checking be fun. Checking that out. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, hey, I think I'm going to hold on to that mad dog. Okay. And swing up. Go for it, man. Might as well, right? I mean, it's either that or the Derby Boy, so. I mean, you swing what you want. I'm just saying that. Well, that, I mean, it feels good to help hold like a man bat in yeah, your hands. It sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> and just like, just just hit it high. You're right. Man. But anyway, uh, that's it for this podcast. As I said, I hope you enjoyed it. It was something different. We're not going to start doing this every time. No. But something different. I am going to work towards uh, getting some equipment so we can get like something legitimate going. All right. Because it seems like, I don't know how many times we've set up the microphones. We talk into them for the whole freaking podcast. And then you would just don't use the audio. Or the audio starts getting weird or echoey or, or anything like that. So I guess it's still a work in progress. Always. It's been a year and a half. Always. And we're still figuring this out. 
But if this by if this is by chance, hey hey Siri, how do you Google? See what I did there? I mean, that's what I feel like, anyways. Man, Siri, how do you Google, man? That's like Google is Android, bro. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. If this is by chance the first BP Hero video that you've ever watched, and you sat through the whole thing, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. Oh, man. Subscribe to the channel because there's all kinds of good stuff on there. There's plenty of these that are in their own little playlist. So you can check those out. All kinds of bat reviews on there. And you never know what else might be coming. Hey, if anybody wants to comment on what I did during story time when I was in the car, uh, I'll actually be active in the comment section. So I'll, I'll partake. I have no clue what he's done. So I won't know until I edit this. So that ought to be interesting. I'll be fine. <laughs> you gave me a chance to tell a story. So I, I told a story. Yeah, and I... I I'm not even going to watch it. I'm not even going to watch the story. Ah, I did. What the things? I'm not even going to watch the story. Ah, you know, it'll be a good time. Okay, anyway. Don't know where I was at. We're <laughs> out of here. Goodbye. <clears throat>